Oh, I mean, you've heard about all the special forces colonels that went public about how they would yeah. capture the number two Taliban and they'd be ordered to release him or fly in the six thousand Taliban Al Qaeda out of Afghanistan into Pakistan. That was, a, I mean, I've talked to other people who were in special operations, and you know, they would literally go do photo ops for CNN. I mean, it, it's, it's, or or you're there. The real people you're grabbing, who you're told are high value, aren't high value. It's for a PR stunt at one of the ghost sites. Now, you know, to show the media, uh, or one of the public ghost sites, one of the front ghost sites, like X-Ray or Abu Ghraib, uh, when the real sites is, you know, or in other nations. Uh, and then every time you're really going to get somebody real, see, most of the NSA, and this has come out in documents and lawsuits and from experts we've interviewed, but most of the NSA is to spy on military intelligence, is to spy on good parts of the CIA. It's to spy on the good compartments which make up the majority, to make sure you actually can't ever get the bad guys. And then it's all just an exercise in futility. It's an illusion. It's, this is the black arts. You know, right. I mean, special ops is the, is the fist of the shadow government. I mean, they even admit that now. But you guys aren't ever brought into the larger picture of what you're part of. You're given a false script or mental template to follow. You understand? Yeah, no, I, I understand. I mean, that's what... You know, a lot of it, it's kind of disenchanting to, to look at it that way, but it's, you know, a lot of the things, you know, like the Northwoods documents, and then I started looking at the USS Liberty and then Operation Ajax and all these false flag events. And those and, are admitted. Uh, I mean, you know, bring yeah, those to your buddies and say, these are declassified. Mainstream right. news, our government stages terror attacks. Right, right. That's that's pretty much, you know, kind of what brings it. It's just disheartening, you know what I mean? But at the same time, I think... You know, just to, to speak about what you're doing, I think, you know, it's amazing that you started off, from my understanding, in public television, you know, here. Public in Access TV, yeah. Right, and you've just grown. And, I mean, obviously, you you know, I, I actually was, uh, I, I went through Ranger School and everything with, with uh, Tillman and became pretty close with him. And he was a, just an intense, passionate dude, and, and uh, you know, his bro is. And, and, um, and basically, you know, it's funny to see guys out there, you know, as passionate as you are, because, you know, I consider myself pretty passionate, yet I'm not involved, I wasn't aware. I mean, I, I really wasn't aware of a lot of this stuff until recently, and, and uh, you know, it just seems like I, I know exactly, I, I can relate with you and empathize with, with the stuff that you're frustrated with, and I, I've seen another side of it that, that, you know, I'm not sure if you haven't seen it, but I've seen this other side of it as well, so I can bring that to the table and start looking at things very logically and well, no i haven't seen the things you've seen and very few ever will but i've basically interviewed debriefed so many others on and off air that have and going back to vietnam going back to black ops before that and uh, it, it's always the same they take well-meaning cream of the crop people that in, are incredibly dedicated not just physically strong but mentally strong the two are tied together obviously and you do all these things and then people that are moral get shook out or get sent to some other area where they're not in central, uh, you know, black ops or, 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 or the really corrupt black ops. And then the psychopaths that like it and enjoy it, they get recruited on up. And when they're 50 years old, they're planting bombs in the World Trade Center. So it's good right. for you that you woke up now. Yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. I'm going to try to, you know. Get get the word out and stuff. Are you still uh, in the military, or you're just in contact? No, with no, 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 no. I'm out. I actually uh, was kind of pursuing that uh, direction. I at one point I was attempting to get hired with the, um, you know, the Blackwater. Kind of cars, but Blackwater, and it's it's because it's a lure because, you know, they you know they throw you know two hundred thousand a year for for these young dudes, and and uh, you just got to do what you were already doing. It's it's even easier, and so basically, you know. As far as everybody's concerned, you know, uh, to speak for the special operations community, they are extremely dedicated. They are extremely patriotic. They are, you know, this group of loving guys. And, and when it comes down to what it is that we're doing, we are, it's a brotherhood that's very close and you're fighting for the guy that's next but to they're you using well, your they're using your love of your brothers to control you and to keep you from asking questions I mean they developed these systems of control thousands of years ago you know we talked right. to Kevin Tillman but he would never come on and, and you know, like a year before it came out in news they believed he was killed what do you think happened with uh, Pat Tillman uh, you know honestly I don't know how much I'm allowed to, to talk about that still to this day but um, honestly I, I I think that it was a, a tragic uh, mistake. Um, 
it was chaotic situation, you know, where he, there was an Afghan forces moving with him, and and I know that he was a extremely you know hardcore uh, guy, and I I just think that um, there were some people that definitely were involved in the situation that that made you know errors. Um, you know that I've looked at the situation and I've said. You well, know, let's admit it now that there was a cover up. Oh yeah, I mean I I I hundred percent believe that. Um, you know I I don't think that it's so much of a, a conspiracy of a cover up for you know uh, what 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 did were we trying to do something to Pat? I think it was more concerned with the fact that everybody is career oriented. I understand. And, Listen, call me back sometime. You can always tell stories hypothetically. It's always good to hear those. Thanks for the call.